is that her voice got a lot of jip. And I must admit, mm. like you say, with the intro, I'm thinking, oh, God, this is nails on a blackboard stuff. Yeah. 500,000 scientists in this world, and I end up with Dr. Mengele with a ponytail. I grew to like it. Yeah, I didn't mind it. I've just felt like it, they could have made more of it, you know, of that sort of... You know, there they, they could have been lots of jokes about they could have got, how say, strong her New York... Sure, exactly. Coffee. Yeah. Um, but especially when you've got Sean Connery, who do, or does also have a ridiculous voice. Exactly. You know, when they met and he was going, uh, where's your mask? <laughs> and where are your, what about your shots? And where's your mask? I don't have a mask. I just got here. No one comes in here without a surgical mask. God knows what bugs you're carrying. And you're like, this we're all used to... This is the best Sean Connery <laughs> impression I've ever heard. I'm so pleased we got you on. <laughs> so we're all used to the, the fact that that's what Sean Connery sounds like. Mm-hmm. But in reality, if you met someone who talked like that, you'd be going, I'm sorry, what? What the fuck are you talking about? Or she'd be going, I'm sorry, what? Watch Cancha. I sincerely beg your pardon. So she wakes up the next morning and there's a little bit where she wakes up in the morning and this like water's dropping on her face, right? Yes. And I thought, oh God, are they going to have it that someone's weighing on her? <laughs> because then, then it cuts back to uh, you see lots of tribes people looking at her and I thought oh no there's going to be a small child doing a wee on her head but there wasn't thank we, god right you were disappointed no or, no, 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 no I was no, happy you, I was you happy. were relieved yeah yeah because like, small child at this point I thought this is where it's going to go you know yeah it's going to be all bums and wees all bums and wees <laughs> <It's> <laughs> which is how my son line. would review this film <laughs> put it on the poster uh, but Connery is essentially living in the Ewok village from Return of the Jedi he's like lots of trees yes and, uh, a lab incongruously in the middle of this how's it being powered there are so many questions and I really wanted it all to be made of coconuts and you know in the old school <laughs> the plug sort being of. wooden with three yeah, wooden pins yeah I was really yeah. disappointed there's a bit later where um, it just looks like go ape and it's like oh this is amazing yeah. they're swinging from tree to tree but yeah. it's all really proper stuff it's all um, you know rope proper ropes harnishes. and metal harnesses and all of Again, that it's good <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what was weird it, um there's no jokes about how old he is, nope. even though there's setups. There's literally setups for jokes about how old he is. He says really early on, "Do I look like I have dementia?" Yeah. And it's like, I yeah. mean, a bit. Like you yeah. could have. De- what you look old? Is that what you're saying? You look like you'd have to wear reading glasses to look at <laughs> pornography. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You got your lanyard. Yeah. But so. To, to, well, I suppose oh. he just doesn't need pornography. I suppose he can look at the tribes women <laughs> or men. <laughs> What the hell do you know about it? I mean, you're an actor, right? Yeah. Okay. So there's a really weird line reading in this, I think. Mm-hmm. Basically, we find out she's his boss, and then Connery drops down. Drops down? He says that he's um, <laughs> basically he's intimating that he's found a cure for cancer. And then he says, at one point, I'm asking you to do a biopsy for a family of rodents, which is a line <laughs> you'll never hear in a film ever again. <laughs> Oh, come on, I'm not proposing marriage. I'm asking you to biopsy a family of rodents. Um, but so he, he, he wants her to do a biopsy on some rodents. Yes. Because he has injected them. <laughs> Again, not like that. <laughs> Later on, Sean Connery is telling her that he's cured cancer. Yes. Right. The plague she, of the 20th century. The plague of the yes. 20th century. And she's like, that's great, let's do more. And he says, and he's very quiet in his tone... And I want to ask you as an actor, yeah. how would you do this? Because sure. he's very much like, it's great, you know, I've cured cancer, everything's great, I solved all the problems of this tribe. And then in the next second, he says, haven't you ever lost anything? And he starts shouting at her. <laughs> and she's not at one point caused him to explode like that. No. None of the new samples work. And I have very little of the original serum left. That's what I mean when I say I can't reproduce it. Wait a minute. I don't understand. What don't you understand? I found a cure for the fucking plague of the 20th century and now I've lost it. Haven't you ever lost anything, Dr. Bronx? You pass your car keys? Well, it's rather like that. Now you have it, now you don't. And he he is very much... Not very much, but he's a bit like my dad in that sometimes he'll just be randomly unreasonable and yeah. and, and, and shout there. Yeah, there's a thing well, later where he says, exactly. I can't do it. I can't do it. And and, and when, when you sort of say, okay, what is it? You can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. You know, and, and it's yeah. like, all right, what can, can you explain? You know, and, and he and he and he doesn't. He doesn't explain anything. Um, but he does have, yeah, these weird rages. He's yeah, mentally so, ill, isn't he? 
Yeah, he's got dementia. I think yeah. that maybe that's the payoff. Yeah. When he says, do I look like I've got dementia? He was actually, maybe that was a bad line reading. He should help. have said, oh, do I look as if, as if I have dementia? <laughs> and then he starts crying. Yeah. Um, but to cut a long story short, sh- sh- short? Short. Short. Sean. Sean takes her to see someone. Maybe that is that why Sean Connery has that does that thing with his voice is that he heard Sean and he thought all <laughs> should like should be, yeah should be pronounced. Cause especially no, he's not a scene, is he? Is he a scene? No. Who's a scene? Sean Bean. He's a scene. He's not. Oh, uh, as in spelt scene. Yeah. Yeah, he's spelt scene. Yeah. So he yeah, obviously thinks that all words are given this, but that's... shh. There you go. There you go. You've mm-hmm. solved it. Solved it. Done. Yeah. Solved. <laughs> he, he takes Lorraine Bracco to see, or Crane, I should say, to see a girl in the <laughs> tribe who had cancer, who had uh, like lymph nodes. Yes. Cancerous things. I'm not a doctor. No. And nor, nor are either of them. And I thought they were quite vague on the... Um, they were. Yeah. They're going, oh, she had, she had lumps here. And I was like, okay, I've had mumps and, you know, my glands have swollen and stuff. I don't know. He's How mumps. obviously? <laughs> Would this sell me better if he said, "I found a cure for mumps, but I've lost it"? <laughs> Sorry, mumps. That would be and a she really went, different. Yeah, film. since you've been gone, we we saw him mumps. Yeah. <laughs> what? That would be so good. If, I've yeah. been here for five years trying to find the cure for mumps. It's done. <laughs> Wasting your time, literally. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Don't beat your knickers in a twist, Mrs. Bronx. Uh, but they need help to try and copy the winning formula. Yes, and I didn't really understand. He, he got very angry when she was asking questions about it, and she was just asking very straightforward questions like, well, are your notes r- wrong? You know, Your notes are gone? I have my notes. I followed my notes. Your notes must be wrong. They're not. What, uh, not I was just my thinking, goddamn no, notes. My, no, it's not my notes. <laughs> I was like, okay, okay, I'm just trying to find fucking find out what's I just got wrong. here. I understand your reservations. She asks, why haven't you gone to see the real medicine man? And then he says, don't you think I questioned the son of a bitch? <laughs> Question the medicine man. Good God, don't you think I questioned the son of a bitch? Again, yeah. another weird decision in the line reading. Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. Really just aggressive. Like, I'm going to shout this. It's a bit like it's like she's taffing. been asking him for a hundred, a hundred times in a row, and he's eventually gone. Don't you think that's the son of a bitch? Yeah. But no, it's the first time she's asked him. Yeah, again, uh, that's it's a little bit like my dad. You know, he's sort of done this sort of thought process, and if someone comes in too late in his thought process, yeah. he will, he will act as if someone else is art. You know, I'm um, enjoying giving acting notes. <laughs> I know. And then um, he did some catching. Which I think we, uh, some really good catching acting, which I think is where he shines, Sean Connery. What catching I can't remember acting? What he caught? One of the tribesmen chucked him something. <laughs> and, he, and, he and you wrote really that down, did you? Yeah, because I yeah. thought that's what I enjoy watching Sean Connery catching do. Catching things. Yeah, yeah, like just a bit of physical. Well, let me ask you this: What God. if he caught AIDS? Would you be happy <laughs> if I could watch him <laughs> physically well, catch have a sex with a monkey? AIDS. Oh, you think it was Sean Connery? Yes. That would be a real twist in this, actually, if he fucks a monkey and Would you be AIDS. surprised <laughs> if this character... This film turned out to be I wouldn't say Sean that. Connery, I'd say this character yep. was the man Campbell. that got the first AIDS. Would you I be I would have been really surprised, and I think I might have enjoyed the film more, <laughs> because I really love a, like a proper left-field twist. Be better if it finished, right? We get the lovely ending, mm-hmm. which we'll get to. Yep. And the caption just came out and said... <laughs> By the way, Campbell went. Yeah, the captions come up. Got Campbell first went days. on to be the first man to get to me. It's, a, it's a better ending. That. Yeah, it's a better. And happen. if there was a photo accompanying it of him smiling with a little chimp on his lap, which I bet there are photos of. And then in the oh corner, God. just for a sweetener, Benetton logo. Perfect. Done. <laughs> But yeah, so they fall in the water and then... Yeah, well, he starts flirting with her a bit because he says, You were spectacular. <laughs> you were spectacular. Really? <laughs> yeah. And he promises her she can cry. Yes. And she does. Yeah. And they have a bit of a cuddle in the lake. Yeah. Uh, but it was interesting. Didn't you think it was interesting that they didn't kiss there? I felt it like felt that like would it normally should have been be a kiss. a kiss moment. But kiss I honestly Harrison think... Harrison Ford and Sigourney Weaver. Yes. And I honestly think they, they were just like, oh, do we have to... We don't let's not, want let's to. Just let's not. just not bother. Let's be a bit fun yeah. and flirty. Yeah. Yeah. There um, were no kisses in the whole film. No. They didn't even kiss at the end, do they? I don't think so. 
No, even though they're taking off each other's clothes. <laughs> he does fuck a monkey, though. <laughs> so. You're right. After post credits, sure. <laughs> Drink it. Or Palala will force you on your back, close your nose while I pour it down your gullet. Isn't that right, Palala? <laughs> Good. So they got 24 hours. Basically, we should have said that Lorraine Bracco's boss, uh, a foreign bloke, I've forgotten his name. Miguel. Miguel, thank you. Uh, he is going to run a road through the village. But there's yeah. no proof that this cancer stuff can be reproduced. Why is he doing that? I don't know. Couldn't they go Couldn't round? Couldn't medicine. they do a bypass? It's like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, isn't it? There's a, yeah. Uh, so they've got 24 hours to find a cure. And then she finds his sketchbook and the pick of her. Yeah. And then she decides she's going to run another test. At this point, Sean's given up, essentially. And yeah. she, she accidentally cracks the missing solution. And Sean says, yeah. what did you use? She says, sugar solution. And at that point, I was thinking, sugar, yeah. sugar's a cure for cancer. Yeah. What an amazing twist. Amazing. But she basically says, oh, she says, I'm going to stay here and you know, carry on my work. Then she goes something like, oh, and about our marriage. About our marriage. Yeah. And about our marriage. Uh, well, I- I'm not so sure I'm, I'm ready for it yet. Um, yes, yeah, she says, I'm not ready for it yet. Yeah. Which is good because it leaves the door open in case, because this man, he's not all that, he's and he's going to die soon. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Smash pop.